Hi guys, it's Matt Bauer from uh, Bauer Tree Equipment. I'm going to show you uh, another common problem we have with uh, when we get into these chippers, rebuilding them. Um, this is a diesel tank out of a band of 200. Um, the, the fuel sat in there for a long time. This thing just sat for years and it developed a lot of sludge. The fuel went bad, turned uh, to lacquer. And uh, this is how we clean them. See that sludge? This, if you add, um, how can I do this with only one hand? Let's see, let's put it down here. All right, this consistency right here, Look at that, look how thick that is. That's really difficult to deal with. I've tried a lot of different cleaners. What seems to work the best is acetone. I took a clump like this, put it in this container, dumped a little bit of acetone in it, and it thins it right out. So what we do is, um, or what I'm gonna do is dump this can of acetone in here seal it up, take it to my radiator shop, and let them uh, boil it out. Now they can do it without me putting acetone in it, but I'm going to do it this way because it will loosen it up. It'll probably be sitting there for a couple of days, and that sludge will be nice and loose when they go to clean it out. You cannot pressure wash that stuff out. Um, dumping detergent in there won't do a thing. And the vast majority of solvents I have on the shelf won't do anything either. Yeah, let's turn this around. Um, but acetone seems to work well. B12 uh, carb cleaner seems to work well. And acetone is certainly cheaper than B12. So just thought I'd let you know that's how we do it. And um, when you go to paint these, when you go to clean them, you're going to want to plug up all the, all the holes. Like we're not quite done here, but you know, you put plugs in everything. Uh, because when they are done cleaning, this is going to go to the paint shop and get painted with the rest of the chipper. So um, that's just a quick pro tip there for y'all do-it-yourselfers out there. And um, I'll see you in the next video.